Hey everybody, it's Nintendo Capri Sun. Why did I almost say Chaga Con, Roy? I don't want to give it away that he and I are the same person. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. That was a stupid introduction. We were on day 16 of um, Frostbite Caves. And I tried this a couple times already, but I failed. And I decided to just scrap the videos because the commentary was crap anyway, as was the gameplay. But, I mean, the gameplay, that's par for the course for it to be crap, but... I just couldn't get past... Well, I don't know. Who am I to judge my own commentary? Sorry about the yellow dot in the corner. I should have unplugged my, uh... Hmm... Oh, Xbox controller, I guess. Now I'm too lazy. I mean, that really is lazy. Uh, where am I gonna put that right there? Okay. I'm saying that, that really is lazy when you can't even be bothered to unplug a controller. But then, that's an original kind of laziness, though, isn't it? Anyway, let's see what we can do about getting these bottom rows maxed out here. I guess my biggest problem with this level is just everything's confusing. One of the most important things you want to do is make sure, like, how you place your pepper pulse. You want to make sure they're kind of evenly spread out, because if you don't do that, your plants are going to get frozen, and then you'll be trying to let it go, and you won't be able to. Just crap, you know? Just crap. Just crap! Let me put this down here. These guys are getting a little close there. I don't know, though. This top row is going to be pretty bad, too. I mean, unless I can get, like, a Charizard in there to knock him back. Behind the other shutter. Behind the other shuffler, yeah. Like, see if I put it right... Well, wait a minute. Do I want to put it there? I don't know. No, wait a minute. Yeah, I just want to kind of see what happens first. Really want to try to keep this bottom row under wraps here. More often than not, it's the bottom row that gets me. You wouldn't think, looking at it now, but I tell you. Get rid of that guy. Tell you what, man. These are getting terrible. You might also notice that the spots where I'm putting the pepper pulse, they're safe spots. Because they're behind shutters. And uh, very unlikely that a zombie will get to them, unless he's riding a bird. A dodo. A lot of people in the comments pointed out those birds are dodos. Dodo birds. I don't know what I was even calling them. Petrified pelican puke or something. There used to be like, that used to be part of a song that my mom would sing. If you want to ask her what the rest of it was, because I can't remember now. Something guts and then petrified pelican puke. That should be the title of this video. Future Tim. <clears throat> you can't think of a title. I'd say go with petrified pelican puke. Okay, what are we gonna do about this bucket head up here? Yeah. Actually, that's what I was gonna do earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> oh man, they got knocked back by two Charizards in a row. Two times in a row, man! You try to walk across the board and you get knocked back by a Charizard. Those aren't even Charizards. Oh, man. Might have got that diamond just in the nick of time. Who knows how long that was sitting there. I think this is probably one of the easiest boards to miss a diamond on because of the blue color. Really, though, I mean, I guess if I turn my volume up, that would help because then you can hear the sound. Because it makes a sound when they drop one, so you can tell right away. Because they'll go doo doo doo. You know. You know, in the bathroom. In the bathroom! Anyway. <laughs> just, just surfing around on Facebook earlier today. And I saw the video to foil by Weird Al. So gotta love the man. Gotta respect the man. This is better than we've been doing, but I'm telling you. You think it's better now, but, uh, you know, you just don't know. Let's get in here. Let's get that bottom row covered. There's a lot of zombies getting routed down there. Pretty much anything that comes out of 3, 4, or 5 is getting routed down to 5 before it even gets on the board. So that's really, that seems to be the key row here. Let's get lots of Charizards down there to make sure we don't mess this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just 
fight event with my sister one night, and I did that exact beatbox. She's like, that's not a fart. Because we had agreed. The thing is, we were both really tired that night, so we agreed. If you have a fart, let it out, but if you don't, shut up. Because we always stay on top. Anyway, so then I started beatboxing. She's like, that's not a fart. I have that on tape. I should go listen to it. Because there's like another part of the tape where we were talking about like female anatomy. And of course I showed how much I didn't know. I should just I shouldn't spoil it, but because it's kinda funny. Cause I said something like, I wouldn't be able to keep track of two different holes almost in exactly the same place. And then she said something like you couldn't really hear because I was holding the microphone. You couldn't really hear what she was saying. But then I was like well, you pee out of one, and you duke out of the other. She said, no you don't. And I'm like, what? You pee and duke out of the same one? And then she just busted out laughing. I don't know, man. I mean, it's bad enough I'm using the word duke. Okay, what do we do here? Uh, should I plant food this? I think I probably should. Let's just let him get a little closer. Get closer for you, crazy. Nice. There, we did it. Finally. Jeez. I know level 16 on Big Wave Beach was a hassle. I didn't expect. I guess it kind of gave me a an alternate. Uh, what is it? An alternate. What do you call that when it's like a combination of reverse psychology and an alternate sense of security with a little bit of gambler's fallacy thrown in there? Yeah, I guess we can unlock this. We'll be going there soon enough. That level was really weird when I played it on the thing. I've also tried to do that Gold Bloom quest, but I'm telling you, I don't think I have the plants I need for that, because I've tried it probably ten times, and it gets me every single time. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Make sure we got something for the thawing out, so that should be good. Do I wanna? Mm, that's okay. Anyway, yeah, it's like I was saying on that level, there's like lightning bolts come out in the middle of the field, and these zombies come out of it. And there's this one zombie that's like holding a microphone, and he spins it around in a circle and destroys everything around him. Like in a three by three square, so he can destroy like three rows worth. And he comes out right in the middle. So unless you have a cherry bomb to just get rid of him right away, then you're screwed. So that's why they don't have that much HP. What I'm telling you. Ooh, this is really annoying. I've actually made it to near the end of the level, but then at the end of the level it happens again, and they appear like right next to the edge of the screen. So. Uh, one of my most recent tries, I figured out that Charizard actually works on them. If you put it where the lightning bolt is, he'll knock them back. And the guy with the microphone can't actually destroy those. What am I doing here? Uh, we're gonna have to cherry bomb this guy. This is what happens. And I get too, you know, thinking, oh, it's everything's okay. It's only gonna take one plant and I'll be okay. And I guess truthfully, it did only take one plant and I was okay, but still. I can't always be relying on that. Of course, this is no better, because it's not going to be even hitting him until he gets past the mushroom. So there's still danger there. No. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's a fire pulse. It's only going to kill him in five hits. So, please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Thank you. Thank you for not eating your vegetables, which consequently caused you to die. You don't know how realistic this game is, man. They got it all right. Indeed. Okay, Mr. Dodo, what are we doing here? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. That chili beans. Ooh. I'm gonna have to cherry bomb him. If I can get the sun before he. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this instead. Okay. It serves me right for not paying attention. Oh, now we got somebody on the bottom here. Alright, Charizard will take care of him for a little bit. What do we do about this guy on the bottom? I think we're doing about as much as we can for now. It's not just the bottom row, there's other stuff going on here now. Get you back a little bit. Ugh. 
fucking dodos, man. Well, at least now I'm calling them by the right names, if there's any consolation in that, I suppose. I suppose. Let me get this out of here. Ooh, that was good. So normally, I'd like to use jalapenos on those, but jalapenos are paid plant in this game. I kind of... I don't know. I mean, I never made any promises that I wouldn't use paid plants, and I actually did use them, to be fair, earlier in the LP. But still, I feel like it'd be more honorable to not use them. I don't know. I mean, on the off chance that someone was using this as a walkthrough. I mean, I don't know, because I tried googling around about the Gold Bloom quest, and I can't find anything about it. Like, there's a few videos of it. Which makes me think it's all the more reason I should make videos of it, since there are none. There's like a few, but the one that I found uses plants from like... I don't even recognize any of the plants that they use in that video. So I'm wondering if there's someone out there has done it. You know, with just the plants that you've gotten up to this point. Because... <clears throat> because I have doubts about <laughs> whether that can actually be done without some of those other plants I saw. Because the plants that this other guy was using, there was like... There was one that made a bunch of warps appear around it, and a lot of weird stuff. I don't even understand what any of those plants were doing, much less... You know, because maybe there's one that makes them disappear, or I saw one that, like, created a hole in the ground and sucked the zombie down. Probably just another TSPP of some sort. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> bucket head. Cherry bombs were not meant to be used on the single zombie, and you know, if you're gonna do that, just use a chili bean. Well, I didn't bring no chili bean now, did I? Actually, I think we're just about done here. Yeah, he's gonna get scooted up. Might as well put this in. Might as well seek up here. Might as well knock you back while we're at it. Let's get as much insurance as we can here. And boom, we are done. You are free! So what's that? That was day 17. Nice. This is definitely easier than the beach was. I don't know, I'll tell you, man. Every other level on the beach, I was kicking the bucket. New costume. <laughs> We're grilling hot dot dogs, y'all. Hot dot dogs. Yeah, I was cutting those ads out previously. Probably should keep doing that. Future self, if you're not doing it, well, uh, I would understand. You know, I would understand! That was the most pathetic attempt at singing that song that I've ever heard in my life. You don't want to sing too loud because it's almost 9 o'clock. I can't believe it's almost 9 o'clock already. Jeez. I'm still recording. Mm. It's only been like two days since the last recording, so really shouldn't record this far ahead because then I can't read the comments and take your advice. There's something here. Oh, that's that onion thing, isn't it? Did we use this before? Like, it gave me these. On one of the other levels, the burping onion. No. It's just a thing that you want to consider. Want to consider. But yeah, you get on the ground. Get on the ground with your ass. You ain't flying. Gorgons are not bad in this world. I'm not sure what they're getting at with the, with the shufflers this time. Okay, is that thing gonna die or what? Okay, good. Of course, now we have an onion just sitting out. Boy, those onions look miserable. They just could not look less happy to be there. Because I can't say I really blame them. I mean, would you be happy to be placed in front of a zombie and have that be your primary function in life? Please, 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 please. <laughs> in the words of Mel Gibson, I think he's got some range on it. I didn't expect that onion to freeze the bucket head over there, but he did. I might have to plant food one of these blue meringues here. It's cutting it too close here. Let's get you. And you. No, this 
I want to find that orange in front of him, but I don't think it's going to charge up in time. Another onion here. No, I'm going to have to plant through this, I think. Uh, this one more time, I guess. But now we got one on row two. Oh, no, no, no. One on two is that. Mm, put this here. Okay, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Still didn't kill any. Good lord. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be losing a lot more here. Not much we can do about this. We'll try it, but hell, even if that does hit him, the ice head's just gonna get him. Did I even put that? Oh, yes, I did. Well, good news there. <laughs> I guess if there's one plant you definitely want to save your plant food for, it would be those those citrus citron. That's technically, what his name is. Man, those onions are way more useful than I realized. I wasn't sure about them when I first used them in the other level, but no. It turned out pretty good. Here comes the next shot. Ooh! Hmm. Might as well just spam everything we got now. No, that's it. Well, that was another easy level there. Not exactly the most graceful performance on my part, but apparently you don't have to be graceful to beat a three-star level. Okay, so uh, next time on Plants vs. Zombies 2, we will go to day 19. Oh, man. We are almost done here. Nah, not really. Okay, see you later. Bye.